trapped within this desert wasteland. The sands of time blow ceaselessly. But it's not going to end like this. I'm going to find my way out of here. I swear it. You sure he's in this backwards bumpkin town? The information came from a credible source. He's here, all right. He should be hiding out somewhere on Rosa. Desert Claw? He's one of the galaxy's top hunters. Maybe he got his mitts on a load of dosh and he's off living it up somewhere. Can't believe he'd be wasting his time on this slave rock. Don't worry, he's somewhere on this planet. My instincts are infallible. Like I'm gonna trust the robot's instincts. I would if I were you. They're quite uncanny. Besides, I can use this to determine whether or not he's the real deal. Just leave it to Steve, all right? Really? Well, the captain will be pretty cheesed off if we don't find him, so you'd better come through on this. I know, I know. Tuckered out, huh? You did well, boy. Two medium-sized mish. Okay, pal, you met your quota. And here's your pay. Huh? Is that all? Can't you spare a little extra? We didn't bring that much with us, you know. <laughs> Besides, slaves like you should be grateful we even bother to share our rations. <laughs> I'm not doing this for my health, you know. This is all that I got today. Those long guardians are getting a little too big for their britches. You gonna let them get away with it? No, no. Don't get so worked up over it. It's been two years since Rose has been under Longardian rule. They're still struggling to get used to this place. We'll get our chance soon enough. <sighs> Man, why did Rosa have to get mixed up in this war? <sighs> it used to be such a peaceful planet. The Longardians aren't all bad, though. Now that their lookouts are posted at the gate, we never get beasts in town anymore. But the whole reason they're posted there is to keep an eye on us. What the? Seems I spoke too soon. There's a beast in town. A pretty big one by the looks of it. All right, I'll take care of it. Jaster, wait. Don't worry, I'll behave. Thing? This is bad. It's heading for the residential area. Huh? Damn. I'm surrounded. Don't sweat it. These foes are nothing. They just rode in on the big guy's coattails. Huh? Who are you? Let's finish these jumps off first. 
Here we go! You're pretty strong. Huh. <laughs> that wasn't even a warm-up. Who are you? I'm your ally, of course. For now, anyway. More importantly, the big fella went off toward the residential area. That beast is worth at least 20,000. Come on. 20,000? What are you, some kind of hunter? Pretty much. If things start to get hairy up ahead, use the transporter. Know your way around it? Noisy all of a sudden. It would appear a beast has invaded the town. What luck! The Desert Claw would never pass up a chance to score a load of points like this. Let's go check it out. Are you bonkers? It's way too dangerous. Come on, this way. Hey, uh, wait for me. Uh. 
If this keeps up, the town's gonna be destroyed. Now we go our separate ways. What? What do you mean? I can't go with you anymore. Sorry. Just go into the residential area and take down that big brute. Hey, hold on a second. I can't take that thing out by myself. You don't think so? Here, try this. It's much better than that butter knife of yours. And this. What's this? A battle recorder. It'll capture the fight from start to finish. You ought to get a lot of points for bagging that fella. Go on, take it with you. See you later. No, wait! How can you just leave me here? Damn it. Fine. You can't scare me. Bring it on, fellas. <laughs> 